viewers, you're welcome to Better Faith e-learning platform. My name is Mrs. Eunice Egwasa, and in today's social studies for basic four and primary, basic five and primary five classes, we're going to be looking at the topic: nature of drug abuse and its effects. Nature of drug abuse and its effects. But previously, we learned the topic peace and national unity. We are told that peace means the absence of war. The absence of war in a particular society or environment. And we learned that there are two factors that are responsible for peace to reign. And they are cooperation and tolerance. So please do not forget that and make sure you always practice the spirit of tolerance, accepting other people's opinion and cooperation, working together with others so as to achieve national unity in the society. So like I said, we are looking at nature of drug abuse and its effects. Nature of drug abuse and its effects. What are drugs? What do you understand by the word drugs? I'm sure you have taken drugs before. Drugs are substances that are used to cure or prevent illness. Drugs are substances that are used to cure or prevent illness. Either you take it to, to cure an existing sickness or illness. When someone is already sick, you take drugs to stop it, to cure it. Or you, you, you take drugs so as to prevent the existence of any illness or disease. You don't want it to come to you, you don't want to be sick. So you take some drugs so as to avoid illness. So it's either taking as a, uh, to cure or to prevent illness. What is drug abuse? Drug abuse simply means the use of drugs without or above the doctor's prescription. Taking drugs that the doctor did not tell you to take, or taking drugs more than the quantity, more than or the dosage, more than what the doctor told you to take. Maybe because you feel so bad, you feel so unwell, you think taking excess will cure the sickness fast and then you begin to take it more. By so doing, your body will build resistance to that drugs. And when you actually need it, it will not work anymore. With time, your body can no longer uh, take the normal dosage, but rather, the, your body will not like to take extra. Why? Because you are built resistant. This, the drug will not be of any effect to you anymore. So drug abuse is the use of drugs without or above the doctor's prescription. What are the consequences of drug abuse? What does the uh, act of taking drugs with or, with, or, with or above doctor's pres prescription cause to us? Number one, addiction. Addiction. Addiction means a continuous hunger for a particular thing. Something you cannot do with that. When somebody is form of uh, uh, abusing drugs, taking uh, drugs every time, there will come a time that the person can no longer stay without that drug. So the person becomes addicted to it. A continuous hunger for a particular drug. Number two, number two consequence of drug abuse. It brings shame to the family. When somebody is a form of abusing the use of drugs, person will start to misbehave, person will lose his or her senses, person will begin to behave in a very bad way, and the person can end up bringing shame to the family, because person will start misbehaving. It can damage the brain, the lungs, and some other organs of the body. When somebody takes too much of a particular drug, the person's organs may be damaged, so it isn't good to take drugs above or without doctor's prescription. It can also lead to AIDS, acquiring a new deficiency syndrome. So you see, there are so many consequences of drug abuse. What are the types of 
drugs that we have. There are two different types of drugs, or drugs can be broadly classified under two um, headings, which are the natural and the synthetic drugs. We have the natural and the synthetic drug. The natural drugs are the drugs gotten from plants and animals. Why the synthetic drugs are the drugs gotten from chemical? The mixing of two or more chemicals to form another chemical entirely is known as synthetic uh, in nature. So drugs gotten from mixing two or more chemicals to get a particular uh, drug is known as synthetic drug. Why the drug gotten from natural source, which is true plants and true animals, is known as natural uh, natural drugs. Then modes of drug use and its consequences. What are the various modes of taking drugs? We have two modes of taking drugs or two ways of taking drugs. We have the proper way and the improper way. The proper way of taking drugs is when you take drugs that is being prescribed by the doctor or nurses or ex-professionals or even by your parents when your parent gives you the right dose of drugs that is the proper way of taking drugs the improper way of taking drugs is when you have been pressurized by friends to take drugs that the doctor did not prescribe to take drugs maybe to ease you of certain mood so that is the improper way of taking drugs. So don't forget we have two uh, ways or modes of uh, taking drugs. The proper way, which is pres being prescribed by the doctor or nurse or health professionals or even your parents. And the improper way, you just take it indiscriminately, the way you like, the way you feel. Or when somebody that is not in the right position to give you drugs, gives you drugs. And especially the, when they force you to take it, that is called improper way. It is not... It is not of your own will, but you are being forced to take it. That is improper way of taking drugs. Disadvantages of overusing drugs. What happens when you begin to take drugs over and over and over again? Overuse of drugs. Like I said, when you take too much of drugs, your body will be resistant to that drugs. And it will no longer work for you. So just look as if you are taking water. Because your body is now used to it. So it's not good to take drugs when your body don't need it. And you don't take drugs above the normal dosage. You take the right dosage and then you rest it will work. Disadvantages of overusing drugs. Number one, it can lead, lead to sick, sickness. When you take more than supposed or you take it every now and then, it can lead, lead to sickness. Number two, it can damage organs of the body, like the lungs. It can damage the lungs. It can damage the liver can damage the brain. Number three, it can cause paralysis of any of the limbs, either the hands or the, the legs. It can paralyze the limbs so as to, uh, to make the person not to be able to move. You can no longer walk. You cannot raise your, or lift your hand or move your leg. So that is the disadvantage of overusing drugs. Number four, it can lead to death, ultimately, when you take too much of drugs or you overuse drugs, it can ultimately lead to death. It can cause death. All right, why drug abusers find it difficult to stop? Why do drug abusers find it difficult to stop drugs? Why do they find it difficult to stop the use of drugs? Alright, we are looking at why drug abusers find it difficult to stop drugs. Number one, they have a serious fear of what they will suffer if they decide to withdraw from taking these drugs. They have fear, fear of the unknown. If I don't take this drug now, what will happen to me? I will not be able to perform. I will be shy. I will, you know. So it have a serious, it it have a serious fear of, uh, it creates a serious fear in the in the heart of those who take drugs. So they find it difficult to stop. They find it difficult to when 
with whom they take the drugs. So that's why they find it difficult to stop because they will not be able to oppose their friends. They cannot stand their friends. They have the fear of being attacked by the gang if they stop and decide to leave the group. And they are not sure of how easy it is going to be to live a new life without drugs. So for all these reasons, people find it difficult or drug abusers find it difficult to stop fear of the unknown. What are some of the examples of hard drugs? Some examples of hard drugs are cocaine, heroin, Indian hemp, etc., etc. Examples of hard drugs. Some of these drugs that can make somebody find it difficult to stop, even when you feel like stopping. Examples are cocaine, heroin, Indian hemp, etc., etc. So quickly, let's take a look at the topic once again, a recap. Nature of drug abuse and its effect. Drugs are substances that are used to cure or prevent illness. Drug abuse means the use of drugs without or above the doctor's prescription. Some consequences of drug abuse. Number one, it can lead to addiction. It brings shame to the family. It can damage the brain, lungs, etc. It can also lead to AIDS. Types of drugs. We have the natural drugs which are gotten from plants and animals. We have the synthetic drugs gotten from chemicals, missing of two or more chemicals. It's, it's known as synthetic drugs. What are the most of drug use and consequences? We have the proper way, that's the right way to take drugs, either through the doctor or nurses or ex practitioners. And then the improper way, when you are being pressurized by friends to take drugs. What are the disadvantages of overusing drugs? It leads to sickness, it can damage organs of the body, it can cause paralysis of any of the limbs, it can lead to death ultimately. Why drug abusers find it difficult to stop? Because they have fear of the unknown. They are afraid that they will not be able to oppose their friends. They are afraid that they will no longer belong. So these are the reasons why people or drug abusers find it difficult to stop. Examples of hard drugs, cocaine, heroin, Indian hemp, etc, etc. Quickly, let's take a look at our practice exercise. Number one, you have to define drug abuse. What is drug abuse? Number two, list three consequences of hard drugs. What are the things that hard drugs can take of hard drugs can lead to or cause? Number three, mention two modes of drug use. Please. Basic 5 and primary 5, do not forget your exams is around the corner. Please always read your books. Please make sure you read your Ugosi Ugo and all your books and prepare well for your exams. I wish you success. Have a great day. Bye.